Sprint Spectrum is one of the most common features we get asked for from today's automotive customers. But how much can it really help your design, and how can you use it effectively? In this quick video, we'll highlight the top five things you should know about how the technique known as frequency spread spectrum modulation can impact your automotive power design. Number one, spread spectrum takes electromagnetic energy that's focused at certain frequencies and spreads it out. Most automotive power supplies are intended to operate at a fixed frequency, usually above or below the AM radio band. You'll get a large spike in the energy emitted by the power supply at this frequency, as well as its harmonics. The higher the amount of power that the power supply has to deliver, the larger the spike. Unfortunately, this can affect other electronics or sensitive antenna that may be near that power supply. That's why car makers have strict EMC specifications limiting how much of this interference every electronic module is allowed to generate. With spread spectrum, the energy content of those large spikes at the power supply's switching frequency isn't changed, but is simply redistributed across a slight interval above and below. Spread spectrum isn't a universal savior, but it can really help out in a pinch. OEM EMC emissions requirements are notoriously tough, and when your power design happens to be right at the limit at a few key frequencies, spread spectrum can mean the difference between passing with margin or going back to the drawing board. But don't expect it to make a huge impact on your EMC. You'll get a few decibels of benefit at most. Not all spread spectrum is the same. There are many popular ways to implement a spread spectrum algorithm, whether it be with a triangular, sawtooth, sinusoidal, or even pseudo-random profile. In general, we recommend going with a stepped triangular profile, since this evenly distributes the signal noise across the full range. We don't recommend going for a pseudo-random approach, as the attenuation benefit you get from this technique is often less than the others. It's important to note that spread spectrum can hide unwanted signal behavior, or the telling indicators that a design might have problems. Since the purpose of spread spectrum is to redistribute the concentrated energy, this can hide phenomena like jitter or stability issues. That's why we recommend that you always begin with the spread spectrum feature disabled and make sure that your power supply has great stability. Spread spectrum complements all the other techniques that should be used for great EMC results. Layout, component selection, and filter design are still some of the most powerful tools at your disposal. So start with those and then add spread spectrum for that extra boost. These are just some of the highlights to know about spread spectrum and there's lots more to learn about it. For a more in-depth look at the physics of spread spectrum and how it can be used effectively in your automotive power design, click on the automotive webinar link in the corner of this video and learn from our experts.